Hi everyone, it's Dr. Lisa representing the Pet Butler team and I'm working from home, much like the rest of you. With our wellness series, we're gonna be featuring tips and tricks to help your pet adjust to our transition back to the workplace and what that anxiety may look like um, as their humans spend less time at home with them. So much like the rest of you, um, our routines have been shaken up this year at our house. We are no longer getting up at 6 or 7 a.m., getting in a workout, brushing our teeth, showering, and heading out the door for seven to 10 hours a day. Now maybe we're rolling out of bed at eight or nine, we're still in our jammies, and we head directly to the coffee machine and then the Zoom call. So our pets have gotten used to our presence in the house and all the walks and the cuddles throughout the day. Uh, maybe their elimination routines or their feeding routines have changed and there has become less of a routine. So they've become more fluid just as our schedules have relaxed. But what that means is as we return to work and spend more time away from the house, um, they're gonna have to adjust and it's, it's not going to be an easy transition for them because we've had a long time now um, where we've spent spent time at home, a lot of hours at home versus away from the house. So what that may look like is you start to spend more time away. We might just see our pets exhibiting signs of anxiety, which can include destructive behaviors like chewing. Um, some may go off food completely and not want to eat because of anxiety. You may come home to a puddle of saliva on the floor. A lot of pets will drool um, or bark or eliminate in the house when we're not around um, to meet their, their needs for attention. So things that we can do to prevent the signs of anxiety and ease that transition are gonna be providing lots and lots of exercise. I always say that a tired dog is a happy dog and a happy owner. So making sure that we meet their needs for physical exercise is gonna be really important. It's also gonna be important to meet their needs for mental stimulation. So maybe that's providing food treat type puzzles, um, maybe that's signing up for an obedience class or a nose work class, getting started in agility or spending time at the dog park um, or with other canine friends so that they can be mentally stimulated and, um, and not become destructive or anxious as we leave them for greater periods of the day. The other thing that's gonna be important is that we practice leaving them in a safe space throughout the day and start to gradually transition um, into our new routines. So setting your alarm again for six or 7 a.m. And even if that means that you're not bounding out of bed and heading out the door, um, maybe that means you're starting to feed them a little bit earlier and taking them on a short walk around the block so they can eliminate and then coming back home. Um, leaving them for greater and longer periods of time in their crate or other safe space. Maybe that's a room that you've gated off so that they can't destroy the rest of the house or eliminate in places that would be really, um, really harmful to the environment. So getting them used to the crate again and kind of changing up that, that um, trigger when you leave the house. A lot of dogs will start to become anxious even before we shut the door or start the car in the garage. You know, they hear the hair dryer going, um, they hear the coffee maker go on, and that anxiety level starts to rise. So maybe instead of getting the hair dryer going first, you are leaving the house with wet hair and you're coming back and running the hair dryer for two minutes um, and then leaving again, just mixing up some of those cues that trigger their anxiety. So those are things that you can do to prevent it. Um, this change isn't going to be forever. You know, dogs are, are pretty amenable to change and they will adapt um, to whatever your new routine is going to bring when you return to the, the workplace. Um, for some of us, it may be a modified routine. Um, others are going to have access to pet sitters or other resources so that our dogs can get a break during the day and get some of that physical stimulation that they need and engagement. Um, but it's definitely going to be a change for us all. So stay tuned for more information regarding return to work and how we can help our pets adjust. If you need more information on keeping your pets healthy and safe, you want to check us out at petbutler.com backslash wellness guy or YouTube at Pet Butler. I look forward to spending more time with you soon. Bye-bye.